Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build yourself a painting secret base, in case you ever wanted to live in someone else's house, unknown to them. Well, you can do exactly that, so without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. And first off, well you need the painting somewhere. You can hide it just about wherever you want, and what do you know, I have an area behind there. Which means I can now show off the pout. So, this is pretty simple. I'm going to be going with a more ornate palette, although you can do whatever you want. And, you know, these are quite unique blocks, especially the coral, which is going to be living in the build because I discovered a new technique. But anyways, it's a pretty easy build. The one I'm going to be building may look a lot harder because it's large, but you don't have to build it anywhere as large as mine. Essentially, you can go as extravagant as you want. So, with your idea in mind, think about how much time are you willing to put into it. Do you want to build a giant fortress, or do you just want a few rooms, or even just a room? If so, adjust the difficulty here to whatever you chose. And now, it's time for a painting. Of course, this works a lot better for bases with a lot of paintings. And don't forget about checking all of them, or even just adding one yourself. Right here, there's a few good options. This one's especially good because you'll have to jump to get in. And another thing you can do is make it so there's only a small hole where you can get in on a larger painting. So hypothetically, instead of being able to walk through completely these signs, imagine if only the top right corner was able to be gone through. So that way you have to jump and it's less likely someone's going to accidentally walk into it. With this idea in mind, start excavating. And this can be relatively easy, I mean, maybe bring along a beacon, but that might be a little suspicious. And essentially, the more you dig out, the more you're going to have to decorate, so don't go overboard, because, well, if you only have part of the base finished, that kind of ruins the effect. If it's completely finished, and looks like someone's been there for a while, it makes it all the more unnerving, because the person who finds it, eventually, if they do, will be like, wait a second, how long has someone been living inside my house? Well, anyways, with all this in mind, grab a lighting block like lantern, copper bulb, shroom light, whatever, and start digging. Now, I have started building the base, and you can see, I got quite a bit of progress done. And this might be a little daunting at first, but it's actually quite easy once you dissect it. First off, I continued the checkerboard flooring. Nothing too complicated there. And then, for the lighting, I did some of these shroom lights. Of course, you can do the pillars across, I decided to substitute the first part of calcite for some mushroom stems, and then made a little minor reference here with the mushrooms. Here, I just have a chair and bookshelves, and up here I have a shroom light. Essentially, what you should be doing is starting off with just some ornate stuff. You might want to do a balcony here to overlook the rest of the place, you know, make it seem more grand, although that will require a beacon for the excavation most likely. Essentially, I segmented the walls, so I did a three block wide space, looks like this initially, and then I added these stairs, and then I added a backdrop, and that's the mushrooms, and then I added some trapdoors and mycelium, planted some mushrooms, and what do you know, I now have a cute little area. Up here, I put some pillars simply because it breaks up the monotony of smooth quartz. Now. Over here on the balcony, I used nether brick fences because that looks kinda high class. And that's what you're trying to go for most likely, since if you make it look all special and such, it makes it more unnerving because of course, you're trying to surprise the person most likely. And you might even want to just straight up live in their house in case you're a little too lazy to build a proper exterior. Granted, that might not exactly work if they're already in an underground base, but still, Right here you can just mooch off of them. What you should do now is if you're going with this balcony design, then you should have a staircase going down, and you should continue the checkerboard pattern for that matter. So do some excavation here and make a checkerboard staircase going down to whatever level you can. If you've been following my tutorials chronologically and for some reason build every single one, well you might accidentally run into another piece of your base. So be very careful of that. If your secret base intersects with the main base, then you're going to have some serious issues. 
to make sure you don't do that. Right here, I have the staircase going down and then into the central area, which can only move so far because of course, the rest of the build, but essentially, you should try working around your space constraints. So hypothetically, if I wanted a corridor that immediately went over here, well this is going to be in the way, so I'd have to make it quite small. What if you are to wrap around the base? Assuming it's done, otherwise I'd be kind of rude and obstructing actual building progress. But say, what if the whole thing spiraled around the spiral staircase, and then someday someone accidentally breaks a block and, oh my, there's an entire base here. That'd be a hilarious way to find this out. Well anyways, you have these stairs here, they go down to the middle, and then, whenever they're going down, you'll notice that they'll create an area below them. Fill this up with calcite and quartz pillars. Then take a look at the blocks I'm using here, so that way you can replicate it if you want to. Of course, I don't recommend copying my builds block by block since it slows you down and kind of hurts creativity. And then, you might want to do something different with this area. Normally, building instincts would tell you to do this. Why not do something else? And what do you know? I did something else and it looks different, and I'm going to leave it like that. It's up to you to decide whether it's better or not. And then, right here, some shroom lights on the stairs. Basically, this whole build comes down to, can you shape it all without intersecting with the base? And then you have another game to play. This is called lighting. You can see that it's going to become an issue, especially in this lower layer. Fortunately, there is one trick you can use real quick. Get out some carpet that looks like your floor tiling, or whatever is close enough to whatever you chose. What do you know? It kind of blends in. Is it the best? No. But it's certainly an alternative in case you're running out of space to fit your lights in, because you can see here, well rest in peace mobile users, you can't see a thing here. So be careful of bad lighting, because that's probably not what you want to do. You want it to make it seem lived in, and bright lights help with that. With the lighting stuff in mind, I added some shroom lights with some crimson trapdoors hidden here. Along with that, I used some walls and fences in order to make a more elaborate pillar. Although, it does clash a little with the building style, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll keep it. But, you'll notice that this is dark prismarine, correct? Wrong, it's actually dark prismarine stairs. And there's actually a really good reason for this. What kind of looks fancy? Coral. But, coral dies on land. But there's a way you can prevent that. All you need to do is waterlog the block that they're on. So I'm gonna, cr I'm gonna crab my corals. Well, I, I can't speak today, but anyways. Waterlog all of this, and then you can plant your corals like this. And you can even use a coral backdrop just for the extra effect. And it comes with the extra thing of being very vibrant. So, now that you've had this, create a nice coral plant display. Although coral is technically an animal, still. And when you do this, well, you create a more interesting base. So, try doing what you can with this. And then, do a backdrop by putting water behind the wall and then doing coral. Although this might be a little much for the coral. Still, you can see what the idea is. And it looks really colorful, and thus, it looks very lived in. Although the rest of this is fancy, the occasional splashes of color are what really tie the build together. You don't have to limit yourself to one palette, after all. Now, with a few palette swaps here and there, and the coral now planted using upside down waterlogged stairs, along with some extra water behind here to get the nice coral wall, I mirrored the place. Of course, I'm using structure blocks rather than a dedicated world edit mod because 121, so it's not perfect yet. But essentially, you hide your lighting, you have your corals, and now you have a really nice area down here. Then at this wall, you'll notice a problem. I'm going to run into my own base, and I couldn't even put horn coral here like I planned because I couldn't put water behind there without intersecting with the base, so I had to settle for amethyst instead. And what you want to do here is one, when you mirror it, change this upstairs area. If they're identical, that just looks lazy. I mean, I, I actually did just copy paste them so they are 100% identical, but still. And you could potentially put a giant door here. I might do that, but it doesn't have delete anywhere. 
if you have the room. Potentially a throne made out of diamonds or something where you just put it in all your diamond supplies in order to make it especially bold. I mean a diamond throne would be seriously bold to put in here. Or you can just put a simple storage system. It's up to you about how lived in you want to make this base. And then if you have other paintings in the base, well, maybe exploit that. Right here in the bedroom tutorial I did earlier, what do you know? Another painting. I wonder what I should do with that. It's almost like there's like a clear path where I could just go here and then go up and then go through the painting. Who knows, this could actually just be fast travel depending on how your base is set up. So essentially, see what you can do to link it into other pieces of your base, mirror it, and then your walls here. Luckily, you can still use the same designs present here, but I'm going to try something else. And don't forget about your smooth quartz, and especially your quartz pillars. These will be your friend. For this central piece here, I generally just need some furnaces and crafting tables if I'm ever going to get anything done in here. So I have to make sure to put those in. And then, right here, I'm going to carve it out and do my stairs trick again. And now, I can start building a room similar to these behind it. And then you can continue the segmentation or you could try something completely different but i'd recommend just doing the segmenting for now now for this area here i now added a throne instead of doing something like a door like the shape would suggest behind it is some horn coral and up here is amethyst because i wasn't able to fit more coral until i decided to just do it only down here and here's the thing about diamond thrones yes they're very expensive and so is diamond armor, but you can mitigate these costs a lot if you think about it long enough. First off, you don't have to craft a diamond armor. I don't recommend you do that either. If you want to prove a point about diamond armor, you grab villager diamond armor. You go up to your armor smith and you buy it from there, and now you only have to waste emeralds. So these are pretty much just a few stacks of pumpkins and melons here, not diamond armor. And then right here, the throne, well, any block that you don't see is not a diamond block. And hypothetically, what if I do need more diamond blocks? Well, I can always take down the throne. Because here's the thing, it's just blocks versus the armor, which cannot be uncrafted. Right here, I added a carpet with a shroom light under it for lighting. And you can see all around, it's all habitable. I have a small bed area here, some storage and some flowers with crafting tables, etc. And now, this place is complete. Of course, you still have the ceiling mural, which I decided to put my own profile picture, but you can put whatever you want. You could do some bubble or brain coral, a skylight if you can do that. Who knows? And then right here, I use diorite walls because I don't really want people looking at this spot. It has glowstone behind it, but it's not very important to the build. Hence why I didn't use blackstone or nether brick. And then over here, you can see I put a spiral staircase to connect it over to this painting. So now you can do extra prankage because you can always have an escape route. And here it's pretty much just a different palette. It shows that pretty much it doesn't matter what palette you do. You can still follow this tutorial even if you aren't going for something crazy palace like super fancy. This is straight up just the underground bunkers original palette in its original version. Of course, I don't recommend watching that because it was not the, <laughs> the best made, and also, that was like three years ago. So, this build is now complete. You can see, it's pretty fancy. This is surely going to catch someone off guard if they accidentally stumble into it. Say they take a wrong turn and accidentally walk through, and it'll be really funny. And you can turn this into an actual base. You can just live here. In case you ever don't want to make your own base or just want your own private room in a base, well, build this. And of course, it's being added to this conglomeration of one giant base with another segment to go. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out. <laughs>